Well, the Australian transport giant Toll Holdings will sit down with the powerful US Teamsters Union later this week to open negotiations on paying conditions for its port drivers in Los Angeles. The meeting is the latest round in a bitter struggle over Toll's treatment of the American drivers who voted to join the Teamsters last month. The industrial row is seen as a test case in California where Teamsters boss James Hoffa has accused Toll of engaging in a vicious campaign of intimidation. North America correspondent Craig McMurtry reports from Los Angeles. Jose Ortega is a single parent and night driver for Toll Group at the Port of Los Angeles. He says this is normally a busy time at work, but he's just been told he can only work one shift this week. It's pretty stressful. Uh, I already used all my sick days, vacation days, even my personal day. Uh, so now I'm a little stressful about next week's pay, which is only going to be one day. Last year, he earned just $23,000, barely above the U.S. poverty line. After getting only one shift, this week his paycheck will be just $102, minus deductions. So I'm, I'm probably looking at a, maybe less than $30. He believes he's being punished by toll because fed up with his working conditions, he and a group of other drivers at the transport company's LA depot pushed to join a union, the International Brotherhood of Teamsters. Uh, this is only happening to the toll 26. 26 of them showed up for work last October wearing Teamster t-shirts, calling for union recognition. Soon after, they were sacked. Bueno, y de esta controversia nos vamos a otra en donde 26 choferes de la compañía australiana told They say the company told them work was slow, but after noisy protests, including a rally outside the Australian consulate, most were rehired. And last month, the toll 26 were in the majority when the drivers finally voted to sign up with the union. Well, we won an overwhelming election uh, of these people. After all kinds of intimidation, people were fired. Uh, Toll tried everything to intimidate them uh, and do everything they can to discourage them from voting for the union. The mess has its origins in a campaign to clean up America's biggest port, which has led to a transformation on the Los Angeles waterfront. Three years ago, tougher emission regulations meant thousands of older, polluting trucks had to be replaced. The Australian transport giant bought its own fleet, hiring drivers as employees instead of independent contractors. For Teamsters boss James Hoffer, that was an invitation. I think this is going to be uh, very good for us. I think it's going to have a spillover effect. And also we're going to go right back to those independent contractors, go back to those shippers and get them organized. The few dozen drivers here at the Port of Los Angeles represent just a fraction of Toll's U.S. workforce. But the local dispute has been turned into a national and international campaign by the U.S. union, the Teamsters, and it's become a sore point for Toll. Company representatives wouldn't be interviewed for this story, and we're not allowed access to the company's site. Um, they treat you like dirt, you know. Uh, they don't have no... They don't have no heart for it. Alberto Quitino is another member of the Toll 26. He went to Australia as a guest of the Transport Workers Union to gate crash the Toll Group AGM to highlight the conditions drivers work under in LA. We have a portal toilet, dirty toilets, um, we don't have running water. Uh, we didn't have a, a, the lid of a lunchroom that you see right now. We got that because we push him to. While he was in Australia, he even spoke with then Toll head Paul Little, who he says promised him his job was safe. But then when I left and I was at the, at, at the hotel and I got the phone call, I was fired. So they were like, this is the way Toll really cares? Local Teamster organiser Carlos Santa Maria says Toll, like other port operators, is abusive toward the drivers. They're not allowed to make an unscheduled stop when fully loaded. The union says a female driver was sacked for rushing into a fast food joint to use the toilet. According to Toll, it was because she abandoned her truck in a no-parking zone. We could say about 95% of them are Latino. Uh, most of them are immigrant. You know, um, Some of them are not accustomed to the, <laughs> the laws and regulations here. In a statement Toll provided to Lateline, executive Andrew Ethel writes, 
The wages we pay are competitive within the industry and Toll has made many improvements to employee wages, benefits and working conditions. He adds, we welcome the conclusion of this campaign and recognise our employees' decision. But as far as the Teamsters are concerned, the vote to join the union is just the beginning. So the next step now is to go ahead and negotiate a contract. And there's still an outstanding charges against Toll about illegal firing, which have not been resolved. So they're going to have to resolve those or have a trial. Toll has promised to negotiate in good faith, but also says it expects a lengthy negotiation. The rest of California's trucking industry is watching the Australian Transport Group closely. The allegations, you know, that are made in specific cases are specific to that company and, I, and we don't believe bear out necessarily on the entire industry. The uh, vast majority of, of drivers, you know, choose to be uh, independent because they are able to make a living, they are able to prosper. Toll's U.S. drivers at the Port of Los Angeles have paid less than half of what their Australian counterparts earn. Now, they're doing things in the United States that they would never dare to do in Australia. Night driver Jose Ortega is living with his parents to get by. Well, we want the same respect as our brothers and sisters out in Australia. Uh, we want it here. He says even if negotiations drag on and Toll continues to drip feed work to him, he won't be discouraged. Craig McMurtry, Lateline.